we created the the space for the rainwater to go and we made it very beautiful uh, putting the mud around all the teak wood trees and the and the sandalwood trees by the time uh, we got 170 agassi trees that is called sesbania which is a host tree for the sandalwood 170 holes we digged it uh, using the digger and halfway through tuck the digger went inside it couldn't come up so hulagapa and his worker was trying to pull up i got the chance i said deepa come we'll run terrible body pain on the leg and the back so i got a little space i came and said tuck 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 so again i ran uh post lunch i didn't have my um, breakfast also so just having some small uh drink standing Again, the pain started. I wanted to find where I could get a stone or a chair. There was no stone or a chair. By then, the drizzling started and I ordered for the raincoats. And all the workers had the raincoats. The tractor came, like that. He was murmuring the rain. Why I called him and he was digging with the tractor. And we are pulling out the old weeds out to put up the new Australian red super napier grass. It grows up to 20 feet. Very beautiful looking. So we ordered and around 1000 stems came. So I said, today we are going to put by them. Rain became very heavy and my pain was severe. I ordered for the ambulance to come. And Kaniga drove the ambulance and rushed up to the middle took a massage. And I don't know, I just went into deep sleep. It might be only five or ten minutes. Suddenly I heard the noise. T T. I could have had the tea. I was about to go. That time. Hulaga Chanakesha called me and said, No, the tractor man refused. He ran away. Shavi rain, everybody is tired. And then the contractor calls me and tells me, Everybody is dead. Tomorrow they are going to take leave. <laughs> I was singing. I was with them only for three full days. <laughs> Previously, they are 15 days also. They do not want holiday. Three days, <laughs> everybody is dead. And then it knew oh, I have not prepared for today's uh, lecture. Then he was sitting, take, he took a bath, lecture was ready, nothing I got. So I went back to the dreamy world of Chuangsu. Chuangsu said, rewards and punishment is the lowest form of education. Rewards. Whenever the materialistic world had decided to reward, they have purchased you with a five rupee note. And you and the street prostitute or a giglo has got no difference. And the whole society has become a giglo and a prostitution den. Not according to me, but according to Chuang's. Rewards the moment you rewarded and they rewarded you with first standard, second standard, third standard, not enough. They rewarded you with the first rank, second rank, first class, second class. And you were all looking at that. You do not have to feel, smell, taste, touch and say no, no. You don't have to even have that. You have to be totally unconscious. You have to just act dumb, just follow them without even realizing what it is and they give you a post, IAS or IPS post. Just follow the autocrat, just follow the big robber, for that is the reward. Chuangsu 369 BC said rewards and punishment the lowest form of education. What is punishment? When you do not follow their dictum or shutting your mouth and not asking questions. As long as you do not bring out your talents and find a path, you are rewarded with the general manager's post, 
managing director or a chairman's post. Chongsu said rewards and punishment the lowest form of education. Then what is the highest education? The highest education is you have to be conscious. Highest education is you are melting with your family tradition. If at all it is that now I think majority of them don't have that they lost it. Hence they are rushing up to the ashrams, churches and temples like Jiddu Krishnamurti said. When people lose a deep intimate relationship with the nature deep intimate relationship with your wife or husband or the family of the trees when they lose the deep intimate relationship with nature then temples must churches becomes very important then the rewards and punishments and the ranks and the big jobs in the managing directors post and chairman clerical post everything becomes very very important as long as you act dumb and the whole society has become a slave, a robot. Chomps is a rewards. People keep on rewarding you with the blue belt, yellow belt, black belt for lifting your hand and leg like a donkey and jump. Mm -hmm. That was not the reality. The reality is when you practice your Samskriti every day and your Samskriti was there for 90,000 years and you could still see it at 800 or 1000 years of philosophy flowing and you can see the family tree standing strong and uh, those who have lost the family tree can start even today also not a problem but start it that is the highest education because you from your childhood you know anything and everything in the house and you make sure that you practice in the conscious layer every day morning when you get up you without Lighting the lamp without seeing a budget, without doing sorry, namaskar, you do not leave the house. You will make sure that you know what to eat. You will eat foods and raw vegetables before your meals. And when you eat your food, you know that you have to chew it properly. You know this body is made out of so and so. So this body can take only diesel and not petrol or gas. And in this, if you try to put mix everything together, this vehicle will not run. And people knew it, but they made it so unconscious, they start dumping everything into the body and they rush up to the hospitals. Rewards and punishment, the lowest form of education. What is punishment? When you do not follow. Otherwise, where there is punishment, because when you point to a finger, 100,000 steps moves of its own, the master pointing the finger to the moon. And as long as you take the finger and you frame it up and do a worship, you are rewarded. And if you don't do it, you are punished. They will cut off their hands. They will behead you. They will use languages. But the master points the finger to the moon and you look at the moon's direction and you understand the value of that nature. That is the highest education. You and your wife melt to become one of the highest education. You both Look into one direction. When you talk, you talk as one, not as two. Children also decide the whole family talks as one, not as two. The moment they jump the wall and do tricks in the toilet and knock the cottages, that will become reward and punishment. And rewards and punishments follow them. Not the highest education. John said rewards and punishment is the lowest form of education. 
it is not even lowest it doesn't exist in any of the gods or nature's books it is humpback the highest education is that you just met and then you can find joints after joints called the joint family and stands tall the family